a queen. So this hair is freaking amazing. I've been wanting some Brazilian kinky curly for a minute now. And so I finally got my hands on some. Now this hair, okay, don't judge me for the pronunciation of this company. But I'm going to try my best. It is from Clayey or Clayey Hair Company. Not sure if that's how you say it, but yeah. They really should come with like a um, pronunciation, like a guide on these type of, you know, if it's not easy to, you know, say. But anyway, this hair is absolutely beautiful. I will be going ahead and doing my reviews a little bit differently. Um, I did see another YouTuber do this and she... Um, I've been watching her for years now and she does her reviews this way and I absolutely love the way she does it. It's very thorough and it's, and it's really giving you a idea of how the hair really is. So, um, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful. I have been wearing this hair for about a week and a half. Um, I did make the unit on my stretch dome cap using the hot glue gun method. Um, that is pretty much the only method that I use to make my units because A, it's faster and it seals your wefts while you are making the unit. So, yeah. Um, here is about how long it is. Let me go ahead and tell you the limbs that I have. Um, I'm reading straight off my phone. And it's in two 24-inch bundles, two 22-inch bundles, and a 20-inch lace frontal. So, yes. I do have in four bundles. Um, I didn't use quite all of the fourth bundle. I only used maybe like three and a half um, because I didn't want it too big. And as you can see, it's very full. It's very full. I, I freaking love this hair. I love it. It looks so natural. Um, I'm just like loving everything about this hair right now. Okay, so the test that I want to do on this hair. I left a piece of the hair out and I'm just gonna cut the weft. As far as the weft, they are constructed very nicely. Uh, there's not a lot of bearding on the wig, I mean on the hair at all, very short bearding. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put some gloves on and Go ahead and try to dye this hair and see how far it lifts and how long it took to get there. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and, you know what, I don't feel like using this. I have some developer and just some uh, bleach and what I'm going to do is just run it through the hair run it through the hair and get all the hair saturated with the bleach and with the developer all right my queen so i have now rinsed the hair and it hit was on there for about 20 uh, 25 minutes almost and here is the hair um i will go ahead and say that I wish it would have lifted a little bit more than this. Now, if you want like lighter hair, you probably will have to go in with a double bleaching process. Um, the hair is absolutely beautiful in its natural color, as you can see. And thank goodness I really didn't want to dye this hair anyway. But this is just giving you the honest truth about what the hair will look like after about... 20 minutes of leaving the bleach on there and before somebody asked I did use foil even though I don't really think that even matters but yes I did use foil on this for while it was processing so that's what it looks like now to the hair dye test I'm going to use this color ooh, okay beach or beach pink blush it's number 142 in the door and I'm just going to put a little bit in my mixing bowl here and just enough to where I can get a good little bit on my that little piece of hair and see how it works. 
but as you can see with the hair as you can see it definitely kept its texture as far as the kinky curly so it's more of a you know wavier curl but once it dries I feel like it'll go back to this beauty here okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use my fingers again and I'm gonna take some of the hair dye and I'm just gonna saturate this strand of hair all right so I'm gonna go ahead and let this process for about 10 minutes and I'll be back with it washed out just to see how it takes to color all right, my queen, so I am back. Here is what it's looking like now. After I have rinsed out the hair. And again, I use the 142 Pink Blush from Adore. So, did it work? Mm, semi. Seeing that the hair didn't lift that easily or that much um you can't really see the the color as much so i mean you can see it more towards the ends but that's what it is it is what it is you know what i'm saying so when you do stuff live pretty much on camera um you, there is no way for you to lie about the hair or be dishonest about the hair this is the best way that i can show you all what the hair is working with when you buy virgin hair you want to be able to dye it you want to be able to um put bleach on it and not have to do it over and over so yeah those are things that i feel that this company should definitely work on but other than that i mean the hair is absolutely beautiful one thing that i will suggest um doing um with the hair curly hair is very um high maintenance so you're definitely going to need some type of moisturizer and water mixed with like maybe some a leave-in conditioner or something of that nature so that your curls remain moisturized and not a bushy mess okay so with this hair me having it on for like a week and a half every other day i would say i would need to go ahead and re-moisturize it and all of that so like I said, here is all of the hair um, and how it looks. So hopefully this video was informative for you all. Let me know if you like this style of video and I will get back to you as soon as possible if you have any questions. Um, also, follow me on Snapchat and Instagram and I will see you queens in my next video. Love you guys. Deuces.